Good morning campers and welcome back to the vlogs and the first vlog of me with my new hair. I didn't actually vlog going to the salon this time. I just thought, you know, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna catch up with Despina and um, just chill. So we cut off a lot of my hair. You probably would have seen it in, what video would you have seen it in? Probably in last Thursday's video uh, where I did a little bit of a haul of all of the new things that I've got and some niche little brands that I've been loving at the moment. Um, this little camper has just had some lunch. Aren't you? We had to take her to the vet yesterday. Oh, I think the decorators are coming back, our lovely friends. Yeah, they're coming into the gates. They've gone to get some lunch. And um, Lynx is obviously chasing her out now, but she's much better now. And we've been having to put drops in her eyes each night, but um, it was a little bit of a worry, but we took her together and she was absolutely fine. But this video is going to be one big lump of a kind of like house update because I don't know whether you can see in there. Can you see? Yes. This is how we've been living for the past few weeks. Lots of stuff has changed and lots of new little bits and bobs have arrived. There's still more to come and there's still lots more to do, but I thought that this was a good point to show you where we're at, show you what we're doing, show you what we're planning, what's next to come and all of the progress that we've had. So it should be a good little video. There's been some mishaps along the way, so you would have seen that Ali obviously spilt the paint in one of my last vlogs and um, everyone was delightful. <laughs> but that's obviously all gone. And um, yeah, so it's starting to like, once these hallways are done, it should really come together quite nicely. And then everything's sort of, this is kind of like the messiest job I'd say, because all of this stuff is obviously in the entrance hall and all of the other rooms we can kind of just close them off as and when they're being done so without any more chatting about it let's go look inside and see what the lads have been up to you can also see that there's a lot of flies in the house as well flies this year there are so many of them they're everywhere i'm like queen fly swatterer <laughs> okay so we are in the hallway and we are currently about here. So this is, um, the woodwork has, I think it's primer on it. I'll wait and check with the guys. I think they've been waiting in the car because they've seen me vlogging. So put your sassy pants on and get ready to entertain the camera. <laughs> yes, sir. Is there a primer on, on the woodwork or is it one coat? Undercoat. Just undercoat. Just undercoat, cool. So we have undercoat on the woodwork and I think we have two coats of the color that we've gone for on the walls, which is from Farrow and Ball. And I was kind of unsure whether to go for ammonite or blackened and I settled on blackened because it just had a bit more of a cooler gray tone and I just, I really, really liked it against the white. We're just gonna be going with white on the woodwork as well. And no, we aren't painting the doors, okay? For everyone who continues to ask, we're not painting them, they're solid oak. So far, everyone that's walked in since we've painted has been like, oh my goodness, it is so much brighter in here. And I think when I show you the color downstairs that was that used to be in this hallway, you'll be shocked, because even I'm like, I can't believe that that color was on the hallway. It's so sort of muggy and dark. And now it's really kind of brightened up this space. I think we're gonna have fun with other rooms in terms of colors, but, um, <laughs> in this hallway I really did want to lighten up because as you can see down this end it gets quite dark <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop some of the lights on down here um, we have just purchased the lights for the hallway down here which is really nice oh there's music in this room I'm not showing you in there um, but yeah, so this is, we've got the lights coming tomorrow. We got them from myfurniture.com and we're gonna see how they look. The lights that we actually wanted, um, the lights that we actually wanted were in the US. What I've realized is the US has much better lighting than UK stores. And honestly, all of the websites that I found that were like US websites had the best and you can't order it because they have a different, um, I don't even know because I'm not an electrician. Ali knows what it is, but they're like, the voltage is different on them. So you can't really order them unless you then rewire them and it's just a bit of a faff. And obviously getting glass things from 
the US all the way here, we need nine to go in the hallway. So it probably would be a little bit of a faff. Um, so we found these other ones. We're gonna see how they look. They're chrome and um, hopefully they look really nice. Um, but even just down this end of the hallway, I can't get over how nice and bright it is down here. I love this color so much. And it's such a nice option if you don't want to go like stark white. It just has really brightened everything up, but it's still got a really sophisticated gray feel to it. I think this might be one of my favorite colors from Farron Ball. However, let's wait and see because we have Cornforth White going quite a few places in this house and that looks very nice as well. So yeah, this is how we've kind of been living. There's lots of dust. And there's lots of like um, stuff on the floor, like this is what we're walking on at the moment. Um, yeah, as you can see down there, there is also lots of dust, but we've got our friends doing the painting for us that you would have seen them in um, when we were having the dining room painted. Those are our friends, Ken and Graham, and Ken actually came to our wedding as well, which was lovely. They are very good at what they do. And so they take their time and they do things very thoroughly. Like honestly, when you see in the dining room, it looks like it's uh, like a room in a brand new home. The finish on things is perfect. So um, I'm obviously not gonna show you that room today because that's very, very near. Com in fact, it's completely decorated now. Um, it's good to go. All it needs is furniture. So I don't want to show you there until everything's in and everything's kind of like sorted in there. So I can kind of show you updates of where we're at in other rooms, but then they'll come to a point where I'm like, right, the painting's done. Let's wait until we do like the big kind of reveal video, basically. You can see still lots to do. We've taken the blinds down almost everywhere now. In fact, it's only in the kitchen, but we've got all of this protective stuff and here we are down in the basement. So as you can see, that color on the skirting is the color that everything was down here. I think it might even be a little bit lighter in the gym, but because that's still that color, although the gym will be painted the same color as out here. I just can't get over how like, it's just, it's like khaki. It's just, I don't know. I think this camera kind of makes it look a little bit more gray, but in person it is much more khaki and this hallway like mostly doesn't have any light to it and the same upstairs like the hallways tend to run in the internals of the house so there's not huge amounts of light and i just think that it kind of swallowed up the spaces quite a lot so hopefully you're seeing things come together now but the ceilings are all done and the walls are pretty much done down here i think and then they're going to paint the skirtings and all of the woodwork around the doors but again, lots of dust sheets and lots of Farron Ball tubs everywhere, basically. <laughs> we have had some new equipment come in. Um, we've got a cross trainer now, which I actually haven't had much of a go on, to be perfectly honest with you. But I am loving the way this little setup is looking. I actually took this sideboard unit out of my office. So this isn't the one that we're going to have in here. but. Ali hates it. I actually don't mind it. I think it looks quite smart and minimalistic, but this will obviously be fitted out quite, you know, smartly and professionally. That's Ali's boxing bag. I am just not about that boxing bag. It's doing my head in. I feel like it's in the way and it's annoying me and I just want it gone. Um, we've also got our battle ropes here, which are fixed to the skirting down there. And you would have seen that our mats went in, but we also ordered quite a bit of stuff from Sports Direct and this little benchy bench is one of them. And we also ordered a large set of dumbbells, which Ali apparently forgot that there was a 12 in the dumbbells. And oh my goodness, that is the biggest moth I have ever seen. <gasps> I don't know if it's dead. Oh my God, can you see that? It's on the side of that. Carrie, there's a big moth. It's not, it's not, it's not little guano, no. <laughs> there. <laughs> Carrie saves the day. Next up is probably my favorite space at the moment because I really feel like it has come together so much. Even though we've had a little bit of drama with some of the furniture. <laughs> Lots of drums, although obviously first world problems. If I say something is a problem, please always know that it is a first world problem. But I'll kind of bring you up to speed where we are now, so. Carrie is obviously 
working hard and doing her thing. Um, so we've taken all of the artwork down in here and all of the holes have been filled so that we can put the right kind of artwork where it should go. I actually have to go and pick up something very exciting today as well. Just stuff here that needs to go. This is the old table and my little 15 pound Ikea chairs, which I'm going to keep in the utility room in case we ever need like extra chairs or anything like that. They'll be very, very useful. Um, we've also got, this is not rubbish. This is going to sit probably over here or somewhere very useful because we need coffees and drinks and stuff that go in there. Oh, that's something I have to show you in the gym as well, but I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so the panelling is up on my units and these are completely finished now other than the metal work. So my handles were supposed to be sent out and the weird place that we ordered them from just didn't tell us that they didn't have them in stock. So they held everything that we'd ordered and um, then a couple of weeks down the line, they were like, oh, by the way, we're not sending any of it because you're, we're waiting for your handles to come in. And it was a bit like, guys, just communicate with us. That's what I find with furniture stuff. People just don't really communicate very well. But anyway, we're waiting for those. And actually we don't need those anyway because this is gonna be painted next. So as the hallways are completed, this room is next on the cards. There's even, look, I don't think I'll be able to show you because this, Sofa weighs a ton. Oh my god. Eee. But there is even panelling on the back. Should I ever want to like move this sofa? So it's all finished off really nicely. In fact, there is even panelling on this side. If you can see down here, so that you know people that might come down this end and look will see that there's panelling. I just didn't want it to be like not finished properly, if you know what I mean. Now, these are my new office chairs. Carrie and I have one of these each. They've got brushed antique brass bases, which looks so snazzy. Comfy? Yeah, I'm, I'm cross-legged. I know, that's what I'm so excited I'm about. So happy about it. That's what I said to Ali. I was like, the main thing about these chairs is that I can sit cross-legged in them. I'm just gonna cover my crotch. Pants. Okay, yeah, don't flash YouTube. Oh yeah, oh my God, you should have seen me earlier when I had the boys in the office, like um, all of them. It just keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> Ken and um, Andy and all of that lot in, and I was like, I, when I meant business, I like slid out from behind my computer, like, I'm, I'm being serious. <laughs> but yeah, so these are, we're having lots of fun on these and I'm actually finding myself wanting to come and sit down here now. Because she's abandoned me the last few months. Yeah, I have. I haven't really been using this space because I didn't like it as a space. It would be so nice when out there doesn't look like an alleyway. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like, it's so nice seeing it all come together. And I know that when it's painted in here, I am just going to love it. It is gonna be so good. So if Mr. Kenny Ken is in the hallways, I hope he hears me saying how much I can't wait for it to be painted in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that- did you get me some caster sugar? Oh, I love you. Oh, Ken. You Yay, banana cake. This is really exciting. This is gonna be such a nice space when it's all painted and everything's kind of like just Done. I ordered my um, office chairs that I'm loving. They're kind of like, what would you say this is, Carrie? This like... It's a cross between like a tweed and a marl. A tweed and a marl. It's like a grey marl colour, speckled, but it feels like a tweed. Look how seriously she took herself then. The unfortunate thing is my dream table arrived and... Do you need to show them? Well, I'll, I, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but it's this gorgeous table from West Elm and it's got this brush antique brass base which I love and hopefully I'll be able to keep but this is unfortunately how it arrived so I don't know whether you can see under here Show me the cookies. there we go you can see it on there so this crack is not a crack actually it is a, a clean break so what I think happened is they must have made this table and broke it and then glued it together hoping that no one would notice. But if you look over here. It runs the whole Yeah, I literally don't think anyone could have not noticed that. Like, look, it is so big. And so, yeah, we've spoken to them and hopefully um, it's going to be sorted. Pardon it's our cookies perfect. on the desk. But, um, yeah, it's, they were like, oh, it's two, pe two pieces joined together. Like, no, that's a clean break and you've tried to cover it up and it's not worked. 
But regardless, hopefully West Elm are gonna sort it out. I'm hopefully hearing from them today. But other than that, it looks so nice. It's beautiful. It I just find it hilarious that you spent so long restyling the shelves before everything got painted. Well, I also needed to understand how much stuff I'm going to need to buy to dress those shelves because that's it now. That's everything I've got to dress these shelves. If you know what I mean. I can bring some stuff. No, please don't do that. <laughs> I'm just like grinning like a Cheshire cat even though I'm living in a shithole at the moment. <laughs> Literally, this house is like, when the cleaners come we're like, I don't really know what you can do but just make us feel less dirty. Good job I came down here. Nice. Because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to, sh to show people how awful the colour was before. You look so cute oh, down there, Ken. Oh, I'm about to slide across because I can't. Yeah. <laughs> but this is going to look so nice with it all white down here. What's been your favourite room to paint so far? I think it was the dining room, wasn't it? Dining. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have never heard anyone moan so much about painting paddling ever. Yeah. Like that goes down in history and the fact that we're making him do our bedroom like that as well. And the patron's getting down that head as well. <laughs> He's over the moon about it. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> a master. Yeah. You're a panel painting I'm ninja. A panel painting ninja. <laughs> So my dad's currently on his way over here. He's got some bits to drop out, drop off here that he found in his attic from like when I lived there. And um, I'm sort of worried. There was loads of clothes in there and I was like, please do not bring those clothes. They were like the clothes that I wore when I first started my blog alongside like my Jeffrey Campbell Lita shoes. Um, like, yeah, I don't need those in my life. I'm only gonna give those to charity. So see if my sister wants them or give them to charity. Things have really taken shape today in the hallways, which is so exciting. So basically the walls are pretty much finished. There's only like a few bits here and there because Graham takes things very seriously. So he's like painted it and then he's like, nah, nah, that's not perfect. So I'm gonna go back and do that a little bit. So there's like, huh? He does, he takes it very seriously. So there's like little patches everywhere. So like up here, don't know if you can see, just there. There is another patch above the door. I feel like a weather lady. <laughs> and then this part, even without the, the new lights in, look how amazing this looks. It's just transformed this entire hallway. I just love it so much. They are gonna be out of my hallways as of tomorrow, so it means I'm gonna to get to Hoover and mop and like get rid of all of this plastic stuff, which has just been, it's just, it feels so dirty. And that's the thing that I can't handle. Like it's the feeling of like dust and dirt. So once that's gone, I'm gonna be really, really happy. And then everything can kind of go on downstairs. Everything will be moved out of the dining room as well. So yeah. I'm feeling, I feel like very, like it'll be so nice when I'm like sat here and filming like vlog stuff and that doesn't look like an alleyway, pretending to be busy. <laughs> but yeah, at the moment that light will, that wall out there just doesn't do it for me. But when it looks like a, I don't know, like a Moroccan themed garden, it'll be lovely. You get a mural painted on the wall. Mural. Mural. <laughs> <laughs> like Muriel's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> a Muriel. Neil used to do that as well. <laughs> You're special. Oh god, that did make me laugh. I'm down with that though. Let's get dinosaurs painted. If that's the only way I can get dinosaurs into this house, that they have to be on the outside of it, that's fine. I can live with that because I will stare at them all day. You won't. It's a no from me. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a no from me. Uh, to be honest, I need to get some like foliage in here as well, don't I? I, I would go for faux. Faux foliage, why? Because you're going to give it. You are the plant destroyer. You kill mint. No one can kill mint. <laughs> <laughs> you, you kill mint, woman. You I think I can hear my dad is here, so I'm going to go before you make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I just come out to see if my dad was um, pulling up and he's like in a high-vis jacket. What on <laughs> A high-vis jacket and sandals. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, well, that's, again, it's so hot in the car. You can't carry the bag. Oh, God. Wait, let me put shoes on. Oh, this morning when I left the house. Inconspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh wow, what is that? Oh god. Is this going to be embarrassing stuff in here? I don't know. I'm sorry to bring it to you. I know no, no, no. This is going to be funny. Are you going to eat? Yeah, good. Sorry to. Oh, has this been in there all this no, time? That's for me. <laughs> there for you. What? Oh, right. Consolation prize. Nuts. But I just can't throw your. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. This is what you bought me for Christmas when we weren't even together. Yeah, yeah. Well, you like paid some other girl to go and get it signed in Waterstones. <laughs> but to be fair, I didn't get you anything. Wow. There's, there's no spiders in here, right? I can't guarantee that. I doubt it because um, I think, yeah, um, oh Tara decanted it. We had it in a, in a suitcase for you. Annie, look. So I've brought the boxes downstairs that I've just picked up from the postal drop-off point. And I've also brought down the boxes that my dad has bought from their loft. Um, let's pop that there. It's not the nicest of backgrounds. That's my old table there. Um, hopefully I can get rid of that. Actually, I'm gonna have a sweep up down here because, oh no, actually there's no point because they start um, like sanding everything and getting ready to paint tomorrow. So there's zero point in me hoovering. Um, but these boxes are absolutely hilarious. I mean, there's not as much stuff in here that I thought. There's lots of like paperwork and stuff, but there's also like this little Louis Vuitton box. This, this is so funny. There's like one glove here. This is a mulberry glove that I bought when I was at uni because it was mulberry basically. And I found it for like dirt cheap. It must have been on like the equivalent of Depop or something like that. And uh, they're like vintage mulberry gloves, but I've only got the one now. And that was literally right back at the start of my blog. And then I've also got some weird things. Like I've got the, I've got the H&M and um, Maison Martin Margiela collaboration tag, because I bought the jacket. Um, randomly kept that. I've also got a few like, letters from people so this is from sophie at crown and glory which was obviously like way back when i first started blogging as well this card from misguided lydia thank you so much for your support this year wishing you lots of love and luck for you and your blog in 2013 check your elf before you wreck your elf that is from misguided that's like vintage <laughs> me and my dad Look how cute we were. Look at my big head of hair. That is a cute pic. I need that pic in my life. That's going in the office. A picture of my friend Chantel and I way back when we went to like Swankies. And then me on my 21st birthday with my friend Vicky. Loving life. Um, what else have I got? Oh my God. My brother and I. And that is my nonno, I believe, that is holding my hands, helping us walk. That's me and my brother, my broski. iPad mini box, which I actually still have this iPad mini. This is the iPad mini that's in the gym. How funny is that? I've even got the pack that my black milk leggings came in. That is hilarious. So yeah, just lots of like paperwork and stuff like, and like assignments and car insurance. Like my university hall's rental agreement and stuff like that. Oh my God, this is so funny. Such a trip down memory lane. Um, and then, oh, what's that? Oh, it's from my sister. <laughs> okay. Ali is uh, currently training in the gym, which is next door. It's not often that we end up um, like on top of each other in this house, but yeah, my office is right next to the gym, so. Um, yeah, so what I saw upstairs, these were like, this is like the first card that Ali ever got me. This is my 25th birthday. Yeah, these are like some of the first pictures of us. So that's the picture that Ali liked that I saw. And that's how we first like stumbled across each other on Instagram. And then these were like nights out together. This was one of our first dates. I think this was like one of the first pictures I probably sent him. <laughs> he put on the back best follow ever <laughs> oh so sweet it's so funny that we still have that i don't ever want to lose that so i'm gonna keep that out ha! the bag from my first ever pair of christian louboutin shoes that's a little bit hilarious 
Oh my God, the receipt for my first ever Speedy 3.5 bag. And it cost 400 pounds, no 400 euros. Wow, it definitely costs a lot more than that now, doesn't it? God, this is like a letter. Please don't tell me this is like a letter from an ex-boyfriend. Wow, this is like a letter from an ex-boyfriend. Oh, wow. Yeah, that needs to just not be there. <laughs> I love that my parents found this. Oh my God, and pictures of ex-boyfriends. This is just too much too much so and this is all just like car insurance stuff well this is funny and weird at the same time oh my god this is like my notebook from my first job wow that was a very very strange trip down memory lane but now i'm gonna open up um the box from amanda box the tube um <laughs> the tube and then I'm gonna make some dinner because I'm actually really really hungry you know when you like don't want to open something because you're scared that if you open it you're going to ruin it and literally the last thing I want to do is ruin this and I know that it's obviously gonna be on like beautiful paper oh gosh I'm so excited by this you have no idea I can literally feel how amazing the paper is honestly I've loved everything she has released for this and I'm so scared I'm gonna ruin this. I'm scared I've got like... So this is the woman reclining print by Amanda Shadford and oh my goodness, like it's absolutely absolutely beautiful i like i can't even deal with this i am so excited to hang this in my office it's unbelievable i was thinking about possibly getting our carpenter to make the frame just out of like raw wood and putting it straight up on the wall because it's just first of all i can't wait but second of all it's just too beautiful i'm so excited Thank you so much, Amanda. I cannot tell you how much I am going to cherish this piece of art and I look forward to owning much more. I know that Ali and I have been discussing purchasing some more to go in our dining room. So yeah, this is very, very special for me. Thank Good you. Good morning, everyone. It has been a fair few days since we last spoke on this vlog and you might be able to see that we have our hallways back. They're not quite finished yet though. We are currently putting up our new wall lights. I abandoned Ali to kind of make myself look a little bit more presentable. Um, I'm an official member of the Hun Bun Society today. Uh-huh. <laughs> and um... Thanks, you like it? I was just about to show them my outfit. You like it? The sort of thing that made me like a uh, Kaz on Love Island. Kaz. No, that's because I've got the bun. That's because I'm an official member of the Hun Bun Society today. If I didn't have the bun, it'd be very much a Lydia outfit. I guess you guys want to see my outfit. Well, I can show you because our mirror is up. I'm wearing these shorts, but they're kind of like collot shorts from Pretty Little Thing. They're like 20 pounds and they are so comfortable, but yet so cute. Although I would suggest wearing some kind of hot pant underneath because there is not much coverage going on. And then this is just an H&M um, cami that I bought ages ago that I love and I wear all the time. So I thought that we would kick things off in this vlog by getting the wall lights up. And then I can kind of update you to where we are because there is lots to show you, but there's also a lot of carnage still. And I've got a lot of cleaning to do, but this hallway is pretty much done. The only thing that they need to do is around the window there and around the door at the back. But I can clean, I can mop and hoover and get rid of all of the dirtiness in this hallway so it's kind of we've got this back but downstairs it's possibly another it's an it's another ball game altogether so let's get cracking on the lights so that i can get my house back um so this is our hallway at the moment stacked with our lights these lights we bought from myfurniture.com and they're like 30 pounds which 
was actually a bargain on the grand scheme of wall lights. We were initially looking at some that were like 100 pounds plus, and we needed nine of them, so that was a lot of money. But these were like the best ones that we found, and I really liked this kind of like um, brass touch to the screws. Obviously this one doesn't have a bulb in it, and we have got new bulbs coming, um, but they're gonna go all the way down the hallway, and all the way down the hallway there as well. Um, so we've got lots to put up, so I am Ali's little electrical helper. I'm his apprentice today. I'm called an electrical mate. An a, a what? Electrical mate or electrician's mate. I'm an electrician's mate. Yeah, it means you're like a not qualified electrician, but you're helping do electrics. I'm an electrician's mate with my hun bun. The floor, see here? Yeah. And you need to go around and you need to get these two little gold things. You need to unscrew them like this. Yeah. Put them on the floor safely while they're yeah. skirting. And then the back will come off. Uh-huh. And you leave that over there. Uh-huh. And then here, you see this this twists. Yeah. So you need to hold that bit. Uh huh. Yeah, and then you'll go. Oh, it's really tight. So then you can loosen these a bit. Uh huh. Like this, and then the whole thing here. Uh huh. Give it a little bit of a twist. Uh huh. Like this, yeah. Mhm. Mm and then you hold it. Babe, this is a lot of work. And then you need to hold this for me to connect. I have a funny feeling that all of my comments are going to be about how people wish that they haven't had an electrician that came in topless. By the way, I've just got out of bed. He has just got out of bed after a late bed, night. Bed head and everything. But babe, I don't think you realise how sexy you look when you've got bed, bed head. <laughs> you do? You're like literally the sexiest person. Can I get a mop? The mop? Yeah. Why? Because that floor's just got me all wet. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just fitting the very last connection and um, I said to Ali, I was like, do we have bulbs to put in these? And he was like, no, they haven't arrived yet. I was like, oh, I was thinking that's going to be a bit of an anti-climax when I'm like, so the lights are up, but we can't turn them on. <laughs> and then the door, well, no, I got a phone call and it was someone saying that they're from Amazon and they're trying to de deliver and they were at our house. And I was like, no, they're not. No one's rang the doorbell. It's because we've got the electricity turned off. So, yeah, anyway, we now have bulbs, see? So we can put them in the lights so I can actually show you them turning on, which is just brilliant. <laughs> That's the funniest thing about doing these things because there's so many components to like doing things in the house that I always feel like it's never impactful because I'm like, oh yeah, but we're still waiting for this. Kind of like, oh gosh, don't drop these, Lydia. Um, kind of like with the dining room that I obviously haven't shown you yet. It's like, yeah, it's all decorated and stuff, but we don't have any furniture. We need a rug, we need tables, we need chairs, we need, what else do we need? What else do we need? Artwork. The last one is going up. Do you want me to unpack the bulbs? Or clean them first? Clean, clean. Yeah, I'll go and get the window lean. So the lights are up and we're having actually a very productive day. Um, but I need to do all of like the hallways and the floors on this level because it's pretty grubby and I don't think I told you but I got a new Hoover. Um, Henry was just on his last legs unfortunately. I've never had a proper like Dyson Hoover before because they are obviously very 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 expensive and um, when I was buying a Hoover, someone said, oh no, like Henry's way better than a Dyson anyway. I was like, oh, okay. So I got the Henry and I was like, God, it was well annoying like using it because you just have to drag it everywhere and it falls over and I just hated it. I've got to say, now that I have a Dyson, there is nothing better. Henry doesn't compare. I love you, Henry. You're my boy. And we had great times together. But this is like the Ferrari of... Hoovers, you just whiz around, it's so quick. Whereas with Henry, it's just not quick at all. So um, I am loving this Hoover at the moment. So I'm gonna whiz around all the floors and then I'm gonna mop them all and it's gonna look so nice and it's gonna smell fresh and I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming home, Savannah. We'll never be in love, Savannah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have lights. Look 
how snazzy this looks. Ooh, <laughs> Lynx, what are you doing? Lynx is a very hungry moo. So I thought that this was the perfect opportunity to show you his new little food area by the back door. It is extra AF, but <laughs> it just looks so nice. So these two bowls you would have seen in one of my hauls, they are from India Jane, and then this is from Oka. And Lynx loves his little bowly area, don't you? Very cute. Enjoying some lunch. Good boy. Probably as quiet as it's gonna be around here for the rest of the day. The decorators have gone out for lunch, Carrie is out on a call, Ali has gone to London for a shoot, and the carpenters are singing very badly up in Ali's office. <laughs> but I thought I would show you the update with the hallway. This is now how it looks, and we are super happy with it. I did spend the entire day Saturday cleaning my hallways and hoovering and mopping and it felt amazing only for all of the flies that are currently everywhere to just die and just litter the floor so i've kind of given up and seeing as we've got all of the workmen in again today um it's kind of a bit of a pointless task to continue kind of cleaning the place so i just need to let it go until friday and then i'll give it a clean then when everyone's going again so that's the hallways finished they are done they are complete we might get a little kind of like wooden bench to go down here in between these two lights where Lynx has his little food because Lynx loves a bench. And I can also show you where we have made a start in the basement now as well because there's a little bit of progress happening there. So let's have a look down there. We have also decided that these bits of carpet are going to have to go. We were thinking about replacing them with nicer carpet and possibly getting carpet up there, but we just don't like this at all. So we're going to lose the carpet and just have wooden stairs. Hopefully they won't be too slippery, but we're going to do it on these stairs and also on the stairs into the basement because it's just, it's just not really doing it for us. It's a bit kind of like mismatchy and I mean we'll see how we get but I looked on Pinterest and the solid oak stairs to me looked so much better so we're going to give it a go and have this all cleaned off eventually when all of the workmen are done because currently it's all being walked on by all of this stuff. This is what our basement currently looks like and work is going to start in here after lunch I believe yeah nothing has happened in here other than just lots of mess basically. The biggest change is in here. This is my office and we have the first coat of primer. I'm not gonna walk in too far on my cupboards. It just looks completely different in here. Now, don't worry, this room is not going to be completely white. These cabinets are going to be cornforth white so it's much more grey in tone and then we're having ammonite on the walls and there's going to be lots of really nice soft furnishings in here but again we wanted to keep it quite neutral and then bring injections of colour through the accessories so that we can easily change them because we don't intend on painting this house again very soon okay because this is such a huge job so we we did realise that there are gonna be areas that we do want to keep quite neutral and this is one of them, but it's not gonna be this stark white, I promise. It's gonna have a lot more tone to it and um, these are gonna be slightly darker and then the back's gonna be lighter because it's all really dark down here. Um, so that's the progress at the moment. So I wish that I had a little bit more um, finished to show you, but us getting our whole way upstairs back is just immense like I am just so happy I don't know what it's gonna be like when we have to paint our kitchen but that's just been the biggest like <sighs> now I'm currently working from the living room so it's a bit of a nightmare next stage is in full swing and this should hope hopefully be finished this week I'm hoping so next week we'll be in here and I'll get to start buying all of the trinkets that I could ever want to fill my heart with <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this quite long house update video and um, there's been lots of bits and bobs happening in it so sorry if it feels a bit scatty it's always quite difficult with filming these because there's just so much going on but you want to make sure that you're documenting the sort of key points so um yes I hope that you've enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts I'd love to hear what you're thinking and um if you're enjoying them please do give it a thumbs up and yeah 
I'm excited for more to happen, basically.